This is just to install Pulse on Reaper, and hopefully I'm going to get a chance to show you guys how it works in Studio One as well. But this should also be considered as a guideline to install any kind of VST plugin because it all works under the same principle. Basically, if you can unzip a file, you can install Pulse. It's really quite simple. So... <sighs> And you guys have seen me admonish people for showing the Windows file system. This is the one time I'm going to do it because this is a basic how to install video. So yeah, you're going to need to know how to use the file system, I guess. So if you're going to, like I said, if you can unzip, you're fine. So we just open up. We don't want Mac OS. We're going to go into Windows and we have, we've got the Pulse AAX plugin for Pro Tools, which I don't have. So what we've got here are two options. We've got X64 and 86. That depends on 32-bit and 64-bit oper operating system. We are using Windows 10 64-bit. And what we want to do is just go to our program files directory, scroll on down to VST plugins, make sure I'm X64 here, yep, and drop pulse.dll into it. It's really that simple. Continue. I was just going to extract. It's in the proper folder now, and we're good to go. Now, if I want to put that in my VST3 file, we want to go to Program Common Files, and then VST3, and we're going to put pulse.vst3 in there. Continue. Drop it in. It's that simple. Okay, so to get Pulse or any other VST going in Studio One, it's pretty simple. You just go to Options, set your locations, and then you've got your Program Files slash VST Plugins or Program Files slash Common Files slash VST3. In this case, we're using the VST3, and it comes up right here under this huge list of plugins. Pulse. Great thing about Studio One is it does allow you to do favorites. So we've got that here, and we've already got it in place. And this is just a, a qu real quick demo. Pulse is ready to go. And because we've already made that side folder shortcut, Glenfrigger IR bundle, there we go. Wave, and we can throw that on. Well, that's the Rev V30, which is available for free download. Or we can change that over to one of my personal favorites, and that's the Angle Pro Cab and the Fredman technique on that, and we get something really cool. Pretty simple stuff, I gotta say. So it's just a matter of knowing where your effects folders lie and pointing your DAW to where those folders are. Now, most of them are just gonna default there, but in, if, in case you were wondering how the hell everything winds up where, that's the way how to do it. I hope I kept this simplified enough that, um, that it shouldn't really cause too many problems. Now, if you're still super confused after this, I'd say hit up one of the forums, either a Reaper forum or a Studio One forum. Hopefully somebody there can kind of walk you through a bit, but hopefully this is gonna give you the tools you need to get started. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great time learning how to record. Until next time, don't let making records make you crazy.